hey, how's it going? Ben Morhan here, nurse educator. So uh, my first video was regarding how to prep for the next gen NCLEX. So um, this is part two of that video. And I just wanted to make a correction. I know that I said the goal should be 75 questions, but um, I do want you to work on at least 145 questions. Um, because I mean, the, the goal in mind is once you get into that testing center, you know, you're going to be thinking 75, 75, 75 questions, right? And let's just say that you're on 70 question 75 and you click next and then there's question 76. So what are you going to do? You're going to panic. So um, what I recommend is you training your brain to complete 145 questions and the new NCLEX next gen um, exam is going to be up to 145 questions um, and it's going to give you about five hours to complete all of 145 questions. So just go in there thinking that you're going to take 145 questions. So how are you going to practice this? So um, if your school you utilizes ATI, I recommend you going to your ATI site here and clicking on QuizBank under test. Once you click on that, this is going to pop up. So make sure you click on dynamic quizzes and then quizzes and assignments. So once you click on that, um, you're able to customize your quiz. So click on new customized quiz and you can click all of the topics that you want, right? But here's the important thing. So let's say that you're going to go to 145. So that's what we want to train our brain, right? We want to train our brain and mind to take 145 questions. Okay, and then about 60 seconds per question. All right, so um, once you do that, you're just going to click on adaptive, right? Because you want it to include um, the metrics that you see right on um, on the NCLEX. And then you will just um, start your, uh, your adaptive test. Okay, so um, ATI is a great resource if your school you, utilizes that. If not, I do recommend you using um, this other book that I've been using, which is phenomenal to, um, to teach students regarding the next gen NCLEX. So you're just going to go on Amazon and um, it is clinical judgment and test taking strategies. So this book is phenomenal. So if your school doesn't utilize ATI, um, just purchase this. I mean, Kindle, seventeen dollars and four cents. I mean, you can't beat that, right? Um, you, you really want to pass this exam. So um, this has very helpful hints. Um, it'll help you break down the questions. Um, you'll know the difference between, you know, mod modified phrase, the nouns that they use, um, you know, the verbs. So it, it will be very helpful because. Remember, um, I've had students say, oh my God, I took the NCLEX and um, it, you know, I had a question. I couldn't remember exactly word for word what the question said, but it said, you know, what, what you would give um, a pregnant mom that's uh, nauseous, you know, what, what type of nutrition will you give her? So, um, you know, in my mind, I was thinking um, salting crackers, crackers, right? Um, but the option, one of the options were not saltine crackers. And, you know, I, I said, what was the option? And the student said, um, the only option was um, dry carbohydrate. So, <laughs> so I'm like, I hope you picked dry carbohydrate, right? Because um, that was the answer. So, I mean, it's going to definitely prep you on how to take the NCLEX. So be sure to look at that. Um, if you have any other questions, be sure to comment below and let me know and I can definitely make uh, more videos regarding this. Thank you. Take care.